Research is an essential part of education. Students are expected to cite articles from scholarly journals when they write research papers. You've probably used journal articles in your own work. You've probably also encountered journal articles that you wanted to read but couldn't get access to. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at how scholarly journals are published today. Professor A does some research and writes an article about it for free. He wants to publish it, so he submits it to a journal in his field. The journal likes his article, so it asks Professor B and C to peer review it. The professors read it, evaluate it, and send it back for free. The journal sends Professor A the changes that need to be made, if any, and Professor A sends them the final version of his article at no cost to the journal. The publisher then puts Professor A's article with a bunch of other articles, edits and formats them all together, and then charges people for access. How much does it cost your campus library to buy a subscription to the journal? It depends. If it's the Journal of Econometrics, a year subscription costs as much as $2,155. If it's the Journal of Geophysical Research, it costs $5,760. If it's the Journal of Brain Research, it's $21,744. Not all scholarly journals cost this much, but when many of the key resources for students and faculty cost an arm and a leg, not even the best funded university libraries can afford them all. So, librarians buy what they can afford, and students and their professors just have to hope they aren't missing something important. But it doesn't have to be this way. There's an alternative to the closed subscription-based scholarly publishing model, open access. Open access is free, unrestricted, online access to scholarly works. Open access journals use advertising, sponsorship, author fees, and other sources of revenue to support the cost of publication, keeping access free to the user. Authors can choose to publish their articles in one of over 4,200 peer-reviewed open access journals, or they can put a copy of work published elsewhere in an online repository. Open access lets anyone read the latest research. It helps scholars stay up to date on each other's work. It enables computer-assisted text mining and mashups, which help uncover trends that no one would have suspected. It gives authors more visibility and impact and it makes schoolwork a lot easier. Open access brings curious minds and the world's knowledge together. Isn't that what academia is fundamentally about? Free, unrestricted, online access. Open access.